let's talk a little bit about uh, you mentioned the the chat technology um the turing test is for those who are not familiar sort of an idea of when does an artificial when when does an ai type technology get good enough at mimicking human conversation such that an actual human like you or i wouldn't be able to tell that we are not speaking to another human and folks wrote in and they said well you know you should ask about our our siri and alexa like that i think the answer is is certainly not right it, 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 would you agree that they are not at that level siri and alexa are are very simple but this is something that's rapidly changing changing so uh, chat gpt which is this new uh, chatbot uh, considered the best chatbot ever it's uh, reached you know more than a million users in 5 days it's yeah. freely available on the internet uh, that one is getting close to passing the fable turing test is that as big a milestone as decades of literature make it out to be or is it a curiosity that is self-contained enough that it does not necessarily mean okay now that gets us to some particular next level that is a great great question and i think the answer is that we've learned that various limits that we've set where we believe gosh a computer will never do that uh, get crossed. And that's in 1997, a computer beating Gary Kasparov, the world champion in chess. Right. Uh, more recently, a few years back, beating the world champion in Go. Uh, there was a recent computer program that plays the strategy game of diplomacy. And, and now we have the Turing test. But each time we realize that the computer is picking up an aspect of intelligence, but not the whole human level thing. And so particularly about the Turing test, uh, New York Times reporter John Markov said that the Turing test is a test of human gullibility, right? So it is uh, interacting in a way that seems human, but uh, the these programs don't really understand what's going on. 